We'll guide you through how to fix the MSV CP140 dot DLL missing or not found. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So if you're trying to open an app or a game and you're getting this error, there must be a problem with your Microsoft Visual. And here I'll show you how to fix that. So first we're going to try repairing the Microsoft Visual. Press the Windows key plus R at the same time to open the run dialog. Now type appwiz.cpl like this and hit enter scroll down and look for microsoft visual 2015 or any version that says 2015 2017 2019 or 2020 right click on it and select change then choose repair once it's done restart your pc and try launching your app again if repairing it didn't work we're gonna do a fresh install open up your browser and search for microsoft visual c you'll find the official microsoft page right at the top click on it and you'll see the downloads look for the latest one click on it you'll see two download links one for x64 and one for x66 if you're on a 64-bit system you need to download both version once they're downloaded, run both installer one by one, and if it says repair instead of install, go ahead and repair it. After both are installed, restore your computer and check if the error is fixed. Okay, if the error is still there, we're gonna do the next step. You can go to start menu and type in CMD, like this. So command prompt, right click on it, and select one as administrator. Now we're gonna run a few commands. First, type this command, I'll put it in the description. So DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash check help. Press enter, let it finish. Once that's done, run this next command, dism slash online slash cleanup image and this time slash scan health and press enter. After the complete, we're gonna run one more command. It's gonna be dism slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and press enter. Wait for a bit and then we're gonna run this last command, sfc slash scan now, like this and press enter. This will scan and repair any corrupted system files, including that missing DLL. Once it's all done, restore your PC and you're good to go.